weekly purchases that time of the week where we investigate what came through the door via DHL, FedEx, UPS, Amazon, United States Postal Service, and of course that old shady outlaw, that old outlaw Waylon Jennings. We wrap it up into a ball with all the toy news of the week that I find interesting that you probably do as well and we call it weekly purchases. And another big week in weekly purchases, a lot of stuff through the door we'll get into in the back half of the video, but of course the first half we're talking about the action figure news of this week. It's been a little quiet, of course, with San Diego Comic-Con looming, but there's a few news items this week that we're going to talk about. But before we do that, let's recap the week that was on the channel. A lot going on on the channel, as you guys are fully aware of. But this week, we did the Rey Mysterio Jr. Eh, Jr. Mysterio. Rey Mysterio Top 10, the Kyle Peterson Top 10, a Thursday tradition on the channel. Counted down my top 10 favorite Rey Mysterio figures of all time. I don't think anybody would ever guess what my number one is. And that is a tough list. This could be the toughest list we've ever had to do. Not because Rey Mysterio is my favorite wrestler or anything like that. Because he's had so many figures. I would assume him and John Cena are probably 1-2 in having the most action figures of all time. Maybe we should have done a top 20 Rey Mysterio. Uh, very, very difficult. A lot of people could have a top 10 list that is 100% different than mine. And guess what? That's okay, because that's your list, and this was my list. But we did the Rey Mysterio Top 10. Now we turn our attention to 17,000 subscribers. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, what are you waiting for? Tell a friend. Make sure they subscribe as well. Once we hit 17,000, we'll do another Top 10. We'll ask the Patreon members what they feel we should do. There's still a lot of heavy hitters to do. Just got to do the math and figure out which one will be next. But uh, stay tuned, subscribe, like, comment, all that kind of fun stuff. Uh, we also did another tradition this week, the Tuesday tradition. Tuesdays are for Jack's Classic Superstars here on the channel. And I counted down my top five Jack's Classic Superstars three packs of all time. Uh, we're doing a few more of those countdown videos. Then we're going to get to some Jack's Classic Superstars unboxing. So hopefully you're joining along on the history of wrestling figures. And it doesn't get much better than the Jack's Classic Superstar figures if you ask me. We also unboxed the brand new Mattel Elite Top Picks, a fabulous, fabulous series. Drew McIntyre, I didn't get him, but I did get the Randy Orton, I did get the John Cena, I did get the Rey Mysterio, and we unboxed all of them on the channel this week, so hopefully you checked out that video, hopefully you enjoyed that one. We also got, via GameStop, I got two of the new latest X-Men Marvel Legends figures. We got Siren, and we got Wolverine. We unboxed both of them on the channel this week, and we also unboxed my first ever 112th Mesco figure, and it was Cable, and that was an interesting one. Uh, so I've never unboxed a Mezco. That was my first time around the sun. It's a little mixed results on that one. I don't know if I'll try something else. That Spider-Man's kind of got my interest a little bit. We'll see what happens with those. But we did unbox that Mezco. We did unbox a shark. Some might say fast as a shark. That's what Except would say. Uh, but Fortnite shark. We unboxed the upgrade shark from Fortnite. A very, very interesting one. And one of those ones that can go in a lot of cool figure photography stuff. As we saw Rio skiing across our hearts. But we also could put that with Marvel Legends. You could put it with G.I. Joe. You could put that shark about anywhere. And I do like that about it. Thought that was pretty cool. We also did a bonus toy hunt video. Everybody loves a good toy hunt. Well, my wife and I, we went out to dinner and then... Right next door was the Brass Armadillo Antique Mall. So we said, what the heck, let's go there. And I filmed along the way uh, a lot of deep thoughts about armadillos. Do they give you rabies? Do they taste good? Uh, checking out to see if we can find some taxidermy. Just a lot going on at the Brass Armadillos. So check out that figure hunt. And then our traditional weekly figure hunt every single Friday. A little of this, a little of that. I was all over. Uh, school is finishing up for my daughters, so a lot of stuff going on at their schools the last couple times. Gave you a little sneak peek at one of the greatest concerts of all time. Uh, I should have filmed the end. Uh, the last song my uh, daughter did for her fifth grade concert, they did Wasted Years by Iron Maiden. Uh, they sang about their wasted years of COVID. The last two years not being able to have a sing-song thing at school. Uh, I thought it was a perfect touch. Perfect touch. Uh, and then old Emma, she was there at field day, uh, winning the tug of war, going crazy. I was cleaning out my garage, cleaning up my Jeeps, and figure hunted along the way. So that was a lot of fun this week. But a lot of videos, a lot more going on. We also unboxed. Uh, the Undertaker top pick as well this week. I almost forgot about that one. So a lot of unboxings. There's always a lot of unboxings. And guess what? 
next week there'll be a lot more unboxings too so there you go but that was kind of the week that was on the channel i should also promote zavi of course sponsoring weekly purchases real nice of them to support the channel and support them by using discount code kyle peterson to save 10 percent and then save 20 percent on clothing at zavi so check them out tell them kyle sent you why not uh, so then we get into the news of the week. And the first thing I should say, too, before I forget, uh, Patreon, you Patreon members, special shout out to you guys out there. Best way to support the channel. But we do have a May giveaway. I will be announcing that in about a week. So you got about a week letter, uh, left to get into the top tier of the Patreon. If you are so inclined, we got Frogman. He might be going up in value big time as we saw the She-Hulk promo for Disney+. Plus. Saw a little Frogman action in that video. Maybe it was Leapfrog, but we're calling it Frogman. Uh, we saw that. Of course, the Ultimate Edition Macho Man, and then the Chase version of Edge Elite 83. These are this month's giveaway for May. Best of all, you support the channel. You get bonus content, giveaways, all kinds of stuff on the Patreon. But that's this month's. Check out the link in the description below if you are so inclined to get on the Patreon. But I will announce later on in this video the June Patreon giveaway, and I think it's something that will interest a lot of you guys. So stay tuned to the back half for that but let's jump into some news let's talk a little news of the week and a lot of wrestling figure news this week uh cella toys they finally showed us in package renders images of sabu the sabu cella toys uncensored this is going to be mattel jazzware scaled sabu let's get excited let's get fired up like a young tommy rich uh, I'm excited for this one. It was cool to see. It's moving ahead. It's getting closer to uh, pre-order, I guess we'd say. And they also did say it sounds like Dynamite Kid is coming in June. So that should be a fun one. Always interesting to get a scale we're very familiar with from a different brand. So hopefully it's really good. Hopefully it is old Dynamite. No pun intended. So more to come on that Dynamite Kid cello toys here in the future. And then Cella's making announcements. You know Zombie Sailor's making announcements. He showed some pictures of his Nick Gage figure that's coming in Series 2. Series 1, probably another four to six weeks away from in our hands, but we'll keep waiting. We'll keep waiting. They said once everybody has it in hand, Series 2 will go up for pre-order. Going to come a lot faster. Nick Gage is a part of that, so if you're interested in him, be on the lookout. He'll be coming up for pre-order here in the next four to six weeks, I would say. Uh, and then Super 7 throws their ring into the hat once again with Andre the Giant. We got a sneak peek last week in weekly purchases. This week they said we're going all out. We're going to show it. Sounds like it's going to ship about August 2023, so we're a ways out. You can pre-order this one at all the usual places, Entertainment Earth, Big Bad Toy Store. Make sure you follow me on social media, SirPaul64 on Twitter. I always put links up for these kind of things uh, if you are looking. So I did put him up. I don't know what to think. I haven't been the biggest uh, fan. Uh, I haven't really been pushing these other Andre the Giants. We've done reviews of all of them so far. Really a mixed bag. Not a lot for me there. Some people absolutely love them and more power to them. But for me, I just not a big fan. I am going to get this one. I got the yellow WrestleMania 2 one coming as well. This one's interesting. I see what they tried to do with some of the looks on Andre. Some of his iconic looks that we see. Uh, on social media and memes and stuff. I, I do find that interesting. He does come with a beer can once again. Uh, it's getting a little bit overkill on that giant beer, but it is what it is. Got to get the most out of your molds, most out of your accessories. And they're getting the most out of their Andre the Giant molds, that's for sure. But this is the Andre the Giant most people think of when they think Andre the Giant with the black strap, of course. Is this the final Andre? I guess we don't know. I would love the Hawaiian shirt Andre when he was with the Bushwhackers and stuff. Give me that one. That's a deep cut we all need. We need that late, late Andre the Giant. Give us that one. Uh, but I, like I said, I will be pre-ordering this one. This one does uh, pique my interest a little bit, but I know a lot of feedback's been a little rough. But as always, we'll wait till we get it here at the table. We'll review it. We'll talk about it, and we'll see where it goes from there. So stay tuned in the future. But if you're into it, you got a 30-day pre-order window from Super 7. As always, I always say go to the Zavvies, go to Entertainment Earth, go to Big Bad Toy Store. They don't take your money until it ships. That, that's the way to go uh, from where I sit, and as you guys know, right here at this table. And then Power Town, we got a little Power Town update. I'm very interested in the Power Town. A lot of legends in this line. And they got some good publicity this week as they were in Sports Illustrated Online. Kind of a fluff piece article, as we see with a lot of magazines online like Sports Illustrated. It's almost like paid promotion, it kind of feels like. Uh, it feels like an, uh, what do they call it, like an adver advertorial or something like that advertorial that's almost what it kind of felt like a little bit but uh you know getting that name out there and that's what they got to do they're a young upstart company uh but there was a weird article it almost made it sound like there was not going to be a kickstarter now they also showed Vern Gagne with the old school AWA title I thought that was a nice touch for that article uh so I'm gonna still wait we're gonna see what happens I don't want to uh you know jog all over the power town I'm hoping it's good the more figures the better 
getting some classic names we've never got. I think that's a great thing. So hopefully this all works out for all of us the way we want it to. Fingers crossed. We should all be keeping our fingers crossed. We all want it to succeed. Uh, we'll see where it goes from there. So uh, check out Sports Illustrated online. I'm sure you can search Powertown. You can read the article yourself. Uh, then we also saw Larry Zabisco. We talked about the French Angel last week. Well, this Ringmasters, they're like a retro style figure, Hasbro style. Larry Zabisco coming out. I don't know if anybody was clamoring for a Larry Zabisco retro, uh, but we'll see what this Ringmasters gives us. We got the French Angel. We got Larry Zabisco. I don't know. We'll see what the price point is, all that kind of fun stuff. I guess more to come on that, but they did announce Larry Zabisco this week. So that was the wrestling news. Then we get into a little Marvel news this week. Uh, Marvel Select, Diamond Select announced their brand new Select Red Hulk. And you guys know, probably my figure, one of the greatest figures of the last five years, and a, a top figure for me last year was the Immortal Hulk from uh, Diamond Select, Marvel Select. Check those reviews out. Check those out. If you don't have that, you're missing a key Hulk. Uh, it's still relatively cheap. Once it's gone, it's going to blow up. I'm sure it'll be really expensive. But they're using that mold for the Red Hulk. Once again, got to get the most out of your molds. Red Hulk, not quite as iconic as Green Hulk, but this is one I'll get. I really enjoyed that green one, as I said. So I'm going to get the red for the yin and yang. I'm sure there'll be a gray Hulk next. They'll just work the color spectrum of the Hulk rainbow, I'm sure. You gotta get the most out of your uh, molds, as we keep saying here. It's kind of becoming a theme in the toy industry, more so than ever before with the cost of doing business, as we know. Uh, so that's coming soon. And then there was a Marvel live stream this week. But first, there's been a lot of people uh, really down on Marvel as far as Marvel Legends at Target, saying, well, Target saw the Eternals uh, peg warm and they're getting rid of Marvel Legends at Target. And I've been saying it. We've said it on weekly purchases. I've said it in social media. People have called me all kinds of hurtful names about it. Uh, but you know what? I, I knew I'd be right here. They're not getting rid of Marvel Legends. I think most sane people understood that. Just in between resets, we've seen this happen in the past before. In between resets, the tags went away. Well, I showed on social media that the tags are back up at my uh, local Target. They should be going back up there. It sounds like the Thor wave is the next one to start hitting our targets. Be ready for that. There's no way Marvel Legends is going away from Target. There's too much money there. They're, they're not going to do that. Everybody has a flop from time to time. And the Eternals, a lot of people like to dog on it, but I feel like if the Eternals came out when they were supposed to, didn't get delayed, we didn't see all the leaks to the figures... I don't know if it would have been the greatest toy line of all time. I'm not saying that, but I think it would have done a lot better if it would have uh, went out the natural way it was supposed to and COVID didn't wreck all the promotion and publicity. Same, same thing with the Shang-Chi wave. I think that would have done a lot better if COVID didn't be involved in all that. I think we could all agree a lot of things would be better if that didn't happen. If COVID didn't happen, I think the world would be a better place. I don't know. Maybe maybe that's just me. Who knows? But uh, we got that. So the tags are up. You should start seeing some Thor figures at your targets. I would think of the next month. Let's call it month. So there you go. But Marvel, they did a live stream. We love their YouTube live streams. This was a different one. It was on Instagram, a little less formal maybe, uh, not as fun as that, but they announced a lot more stuff than I assumed they would. I thought we might get one or two things, but they went all in and gave us a lot of reveals and a lot of new figures. And especially this close to San Diego Comic-Con, I was a little bit surprised. But I think Hasbro is laying in the weeds, and I don't think they're going to be a part of San Diego Comic-Con like years past. I think Hasbro PulseCon in September, that's their big event. They might give us one or two things for the uh, San Diego Comic-Con, but things like they're going to lay in the weeds and announce a lot more in September at the PulseCon. So we'll see. We'll see what happens with San Diego Comic-Con coming. Uh, but they did announce the Target-exclusive Bagman, and this is a cool one. I'm not familiar with Bagman. I know it's Spider-Man. He's got a bag on his head. He's got a Fantastic Four outfit, no socks. A really tongue-in-cheek kind of crazy character. Crazy look for old Spider-Man, but I'm here for that. I like that one a lot. First time I remember seeing that in figure form was the, there was like a Walgreens uh, Funko Pop, I think, exclusive. And I remember I heard about it, but I didn't know about the character, so I looked into it during that time. So happy to have a Marvel Legends one, very easy repaint for them. Uh, but that is cool. That is a Target exclusive uh, if you're looking for that one. Then they did the Hasbro Pulse exclusive. Sounds like this one's coming towards the end of the year. A lot of people are moaning and groaning. A lot of people are happy, but a lot of people are, as usual right now, are not happy about the price point. The price point's around $140. Cheaper if you're a Hasbro Pulse member because you don't have to pay shipping. But we're getting Mojo, 
we're getting Dazzler, we're getting a long shot, and we're getting a little Wolverine figure in a fabulous TV themed packaging. I mean, you got to remember the packaging, the special packaging on this adds to that price point. I know a lot of people are mad about that. They're mad paying that much. But you got to think, Mojo, in this new day and age, you're looking at $50, $60. He is big. They compared him to the old Toy Biz Mojo. He's all, I wouldn't say double, but he's pretty close to double the size of that. Then you're getting Long Shot, which is good. And we know the new price point on Marvel Legends. You're getting Dazzler, a weaker one in the list, but we still needed another Dazzler to go along with this set. Maybe a Spiral would have been better, in all honesty, but I'm sure we'll get Spiral eventually. Then that little Wolverine, I don't know what that would normally cost, probably $10 in this day and age. But when you add all that together, the TV box, the remote control packaging, all that kind of stuff, and then it being an exclusive, a limited run, much more limited than a Walmart Target release, that's the price point you get to. And a lot of people just like to complain, but they don't take that business step back. I get it. It's not as fun to do that. But uh, during what knowing what we know, and who knows, there could be another price point in October. The last two years, I've been your best friend about price increases. I'm in the business. It all goes together. And uh, like I keep saying, in July, August time frame, it's going to get a lot more expensive on a lot of things. Rumors are October, November, things might even get more expensive. I hope that's not the case. Uh, I felt like all the other ones I knew was coming in my heart. I knew it was coming. October, I'm not 100% sure on quite yet. Weeks to come, I'll let you know. But I hope there's no more toy increases uh, around Christmas time. If anything, save them over. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see what happens. But things are more expensive. We just got to admit it. We don't like it, but it is what it is. Heck, my Jeep Wagoneer, I get seven miles to the gallon. I got a 21-gallon tank. That's rough times. That's hard times is what that is. Uh, that's just the way of the world right now. So hopefully it gets a little bit better. I don't know. Prices usually don't come back down on a lot of things, unfortunately. But we did see that. We also saw from the Ultron wave, they announced Sharon Carter. Uh, I think that was the only one I didn't pre-order because I just forgot it. But I'm not too worked up about that one because I think that'll be fairly easy to get. That's just your regular standard Marvel Legends release. I'll get that eventually. Uh, we did see the Fantastic Four style retro packaging. We got Fire Lord. Very cool throwback to the old Toy Biz days when I collected, when I really got into the Fantastic Four universe through the animated series at the time and then the toy line. It was really my big introduction into the Fantastic Four and then started reading some comics, all that fun stuff. But Fire Lord's cool. We'll go with our Galactus that's coming later on this year. Uh, so it's always cool to get another Herald and that's what Fire Lord is. We also saw throwback packaging, and for the first time ever, this one, once again, hits me right in the old Marvel Action Hour feels. We got Iron Man Wave. We got War Machine. So it's a repaint of that last War Machine. I'm here for it, though. I love that Iron Man Wave. I especially like the villains in that wave. So I hope we get a lot of those villains. Maybe we'll even get the Fin Fang Foom re-release through that Iron Man Wave. We'll see if that happens. Maybe they'll make a new tooling, make it even bigger. Who knows what might happen with that. Uh, but very cool carding, really brings me back to the old days. Now let's get some of those other ones. Uh, I'm hoping, it seems weird, Iron Man special packaging that I don't want the Iron Man from them. Uh, but I'm sure we'll get at least a couple of Iron Man in every single one. We got War Machine to start things off. But hopefully they give us the Whiplash, the Centuries, uh, some of those guys. That's what I want out of that wave. And I hope that's what we end up getting. Time will tell, but you know they're not just making War Machine. They're going to make more. I'm sure we'll get announcements uh, in the days, weeks, months to come. So there you go. And then we got Spider-Man Japanese style from the Japanese TV show back in, I think, the late 70s. We got that, and that is in that new Marvel Legends packaging, the windowless packaging. Uh, so I don't know. Verdict's still out on that one. I did pre-order that. It's cool enough. Uh, it's very tongue-in-cheek. And I remember as a little kid seeing pictures of that, just being like, wow, that's crazy-looking Spider-Man. And uh, it's still, all these years later, still a crazy-looking Spider-Man. Not terribly different than what we know. You know it's Spider-Man. But it's just another incarnation. And, of course, they're celebrating all things Spider-Man this year. Makes a lot of sense to me. So we got that coming. We also saw a retro card, and you guys know as part of the inflation, stop collecting. Kyle had to stop collecting some lines, and one of them was the three and three fourths retro Marvel Legends. Well, I put that bias aside. I said, I'm getting back in for just this figure, and it is the Sentinel, the retro version of Sentinel. So it's about Marvel Legends size. I saw that and I immediately said, this reminds me back to when I was at the arcade playing the X-Men arcade game as they had Sentinels that were about the same size as Cyclops, Wolverine, Colossus and stuff fighting with them. Army build these Sentinels, you can have a game going on. So I pre-ordered one just to have. I thought it was cool enough. Uh, I love Sentinels, of course. So that was really cool. So I picked up one of those as well. And then Friday, right before I started filming weekly purchases here, uh, Marvel made an announcement. Of course, it's the 20th of the month. And I'm surprised they didn't save this for a bigger announcement instead of just you know putting it up on social media. I thought this would be live stream main event worthy, but I guess not. 
but we're getting animated series morph. I don't know if a lot of people, that's been like the most requested Marvel legend for the last few years for sure. Everybody wants morph, morph, morph. Well, now you're getting animated series morph. I'm all in on that one. I can't wait to find out more information of his accessories and stuff. Will it be like the old school toy biz where he comes with like a Wolverine head and different heads you can pop on him? Uh, I always thought that was a neat feature. You know he's going to have that Cyclops uh, Love Triangle three-pack jacket on there. He's got to have that. That's his patented look or part of it. Uh, but very excited about that one. That should be a really good seller. I believe that'll be a Shop Disney Hasbro Pulse exclusive. So more to come on that one. But interesting times in the Marvel Legends game. A lot of cool stuff shown and a bit of a surprise as I didn't expect that much stuff. But cool nonetheless. Uh, we also saw Masters of the Universe switching gears to a little He-Man action. We saw the new uh, deluxe figures coming and we got Snout Spout coming and we got Leech. And those are going to be the deluxe ones. Uh, shouldn't be too hard to find those. It just uh, kind of depends on your store distribution. I'm seeing a lot of Clamp Champ, Ram Man, and Hordak coming back to the shelves, which I thought was a little strange. But Leech and Snout Spout should be the next two. Maybe end of summer, early fall, something like that. Who knows? Uh, but those are coming for you Masters Universe Origin fans. Super 7 threw their hat in the ring this week, and this one got my ears and eyes and everything perked up. Everything perked up, let me tell you. Uh, we're talking Slayer. We're talking Ultimate Edition Slayer. I don't know. They showed uh, Die by the Sword kind of there. I hope it's not another reaction type thing that's, hey, it's another repaint of the reaction figures. Maybe we're going to get the Show No Mercy uh, kind of fighting guy with his sword in the ultimate form. I don't know. I think Super 7 is missing the boat on some of the ultimates. They got a lot of heavy metal reaction. We need heavy metal ultimates. We got King Diamond. We've got some ghost action. Maybe Alice Cooper. Maybe give us a little Lemmy action. A little Slayer. Oh, there's a lot they could do. And, of course, give me Judas Priest, give me Iron Maiden, give me all the greats. Uh, I don't know if that's all going to happen, but we'll see. We'll stay tuned to see what the Slayer announcement is coming. But I'm perked up in many ways, so let, let's find out what happens there. Uh, NECA jumping into the fire this week as well, showing a little packaging images. We saw uh, Mikey as the mummy. We saw Donnie as the Invisible Man, so that was new. Uh, so that's interesting. Not a big Invisible Man guy. I'll be picking this one up. We'll see how it goes. Uh, but I always felt, as far as the Universal Monsters and kind of that time frame, Invisible Man and Phantom of the Opera were always my least two favorite. But we'll see what they can do with Donatello there. Uh, NECA also said, basically, they put up a little uh, thing. Comic-Con exclusive to 2022 are coming. What could that mean? What could that mean for all the brands we love? What could be the Turtle exclusive? You guys got to remember, San Diego Comic-Con's coming up in July. Start saving your pennies now. If you guys remember last year, there was so much stuff uh, up at that time. Uh, there's going to be tons of pre-orders from all the companies. Then you got exclusives on top of that. Going to be a very, very expensive month of July. So uh, be prepared. Start saving some money. Start putting some stuff away now. Maybe start selling some stuff to get some extra money to buy some of that stuff. Uh, who knows what San Diego Comic-Con is coming. Turtles are coming. Uh, all the toys are coming eventually. Right? And they got to eventually. Uh, so we got that going on. And that's it. I'm looking at my list here. I don't see any other news going on. We got to finish this portion of the show with Album of the Week. And Album of the Week, we're going all the way back to the early 80s for a band that's been around for a long time, but they have a new album out. And we're talking new wave of British heavy metal. We're talking one of the deep cut bands from that era. We're talking about Satan. Yes, Satan. Uh, Satan Court in the Act, one of their famous albums from back in the day. But Infernal, uh, it, Earth, Inter Earth Infernal, easy for me to say, is the album of the week this week. A newer one. I had not gotten around to listen to it. It came out about a month ago. It is that Satan classic sound that I love so much. A little bit doomy in there from time to time. If you've never checked out Satan, check them out. Uh, I don't always say you hear a band like Satan, you're thinking it's going to sound like uh, something that's totally crazy. It doesn't. It's kind of like Iron Maiden. People see Iron Maiden, they're like, oh, this has got to be death metal or something crazy. But, but it's not. Satan's kind of the exact same way there but check out that one check out the new wave british heavy metal there's so many good bands from that area that just don't get their due one of my all-time favorite genres of music and that's album of the week is old satan this week so without further ado let's get down to it let's get down to the weekly purchases All right, let's get down to business. Let's get down to the weekly purchases and a lot of stuff through the door this week. A little busier than anticipated. As I said, we're kind of the downturn. A little slow time of the year with some figures, but fear not. There'll be more coming on the pegs, more coming through the mail in the weeks to come, I'm sure. But first off, we're going to start with my old buddy Sambro, longtime viewer of the channel. We did a little deal ski over the last week, and I did pick up this from him. One of 5,000 
Chris Jericho, AEW Unrivaled, of course. Not all in on these, but whenever I see a deal, as we always know, got to get a deal. Pick up the t-shirt on Pro Wrestling Tees. Got to get a deal. Sambro had this for sale. Uh, I always good to help out a good buddy, Sambro, and I picked this one up from him this week. But he really popped me pretty good because he threw a bunch of stuff in the box. I'm like, what the heck? This heavy box, That's there's got to be other stuff in here. And he put some stuff in there for me. He gave me the title belt. I guess he's... Uh, turned in his reign on the championship belts. He said, you know what? I'm just uh, no longer the champion. I'm going to turn these in. And that's what he did. So we got the NXT title. Maybe I'll take uh, the two my two daughters, Elle and Emma. Maybe I'll throw on the old referee t-shirt. And we might have a match for these and see who comes out the winner. Who's going to be the reigning champion? I believe Emma, strangely enough, is the current champion of our house. But two new belts to defend. Uh, we'll see what happens. And if you're going to carry a belt around... You better be prepared to defend it. That's what always happens. You go to those wrestling shows. You see people with the toy belts or even the real belts. Who did you beat? And are you prepared to defend it right now? That's always my question to those people. Uh, so you got to ask them that as well. And then uh, Sabro kept going. He gave me a bunch of stands, uh, Bone Cruncher stands, and then a bag of Steve Austins. Who doesn't need a bag of Bone Cruncher Steve Austins? And uh, I always love these Steve Austin Bone Crunchers, especially two of these are two favorites of mine. So always cool, good work display stuff for me for these. So Sambro is sending me those. And then he really popped me with this. I, was never, I wasn't expecting this stuff, but this uh, was really crazy. Maybe he's been watching my toy hunt videos lately. He probably has been. I've been looking at that Funko Pop Diary of a Madman. I've been really eyeing that thing. And you guys know I love early Ozzy, this time by Ozzy. Seven, eight-year-old Kyle. These were out. This is like 1981. Yeah, 1981 this came out. But when I was like 87, 80, no, it was 88, 89, I really got into Ozzy. And I remember seeing these on tape. And the covers were just so cool. I love the Ozzy Osbourne font going on. And I just bought it not even knowing what it sounded like. Had to pick up this, and uh, he sent this my way, the old LP of Ozzy. Love Diary of a Madman. All the early Ozzy stuff is absolutely fabulous. He also sent System of a Down. Yes, System of a Down. This always reminds me of high school radio when I was on a high school radio show. I had to take radio. Our high school had their own radio station, and I took a year of radio, and I used to be a DJ. And it always sucked because Kyle didn't get to play what he wanted. He had to play all the pop hits and all that stuff, and then one... Uh, we got to do one song a class so you know you have class three times a week or whatever i'd get to play one song of what they had this is old cartridge days and oh it was a pain but system of down got played a lot during that time frame of course and then uh, a couple of heavy hitters some real heavy hitters acdc highway to hell of course some people say one of the greatest rock albums of all time do you like highway to hell or are you a back in black guy it's just you know it's one of those things it's kind of like maiden or priest which one do you like better uh, but highway to hell very very strong uh, right, uh, Bon Scott's last album. So there you go right there. And then this is the one that really popped me big time. My favorite Metallica album of all time. A lot of people think I'm crazy. This is my favorite Metallica album of all time. Kill Em All. Absolutely love Kill Em All. If you've not listened to Kill Em All, what are you doing? This is the best. This is the best. I know a lot of people will say Master of Puppets, or even more people probably say the Black Album. But for me, I'm all about the Kill Em All. That is absolutely my favorite Metallica album Love me some kill em all. So, Sambro, thanks for all the surprises. It really did pop me when I opened up the boxes. Uh, very, very cool. We got the Jericho from him. So, we got to shout that out at the beginning here of Weekly Purchases. And then we talked about these when we recapped the week. Uh, top picks, elite top picks, Randy Orton, Rey Mysterio, and, of course, John Cena. Got all three of these, reviewed them on the channel this week. Couldn't wait for weekly purchases. Had to dive into them right away. Similar instance will probably happen this week as... My ringside collectibles order of AEW Unrivaled Series 9 will be here uh, about 24 hours from now. So I'll probably get started on those for Sunday. Uh, double check on that. But uh, Sunday I should have Unrivaled 9 reviews starting. It should be an Unrivaled 9 week here on the channel. So be prepared for all that fun this week. But always cool to get the top picks in through the door. And then we got a couple of the same thing with Marvel Legends. I unboxed Siren and Wolverine. These came last week right after I filmed Weekly Purchases. Had to dig into the new X-Men set. You guys know I love the X-Men. Uh, so Wolverine and Siren got those going this week. And then, right before I started filming today, the mailman came and my GameStop order of Sabretooth came. This is going to be an interesting one. Lot to talk about. Sabretooth, one of my all-time favorite X-Men characters. 
Uh, this is a very, very interesting take on Sabretooth, and we'll talk about this one uh, in the review, hopefully sometime this week. Definitely on the Patreon. Like I always say, the Patreon gets these videos weeks, months, early sometimes, some cases, and uh, all these will be up by this weekend. I usually get all the stuff up by the weekend, and then they come out over the next couple of weeks or months. So Patreon members always getting first dibs. Walked into my local Walmart, as you saw on the fig hunts this week. Got Boba Fett, the deluxe Walmart one. I don't know if it's a Walmart exclusive, but Walmart seems to be the first to be shipping this one out. So we got the throne, throne room Boba Fett, easy for me to say, through the door. I'll try to unbox this this weekend as well. And then you guys saw I went to another Walgreens and found another 212 clone trooper. This video has been up on Patreon for a while. It'll get released eventually, but now I got a second one. Uh, so we got another clone trooper. Always good to have twos. Clone Troopers are better in pairs, I've always said to myself, or maybe I'm just saying it right now, I don't know. But Clone Trooper through the door. Uh, then I did get these on Amazon, if you follow along on social media, these came up on sale. They're baseball card holders, uh, but they break into two, you know, it's a baseball card holder, you put cards in there, it protects them. I use these in my Billy bookcases as risers, cheap risers in the background. Uh, very good, they are on sale or were on sale at Amazon, like I said, I put the link out. I picked up about 10 packs of these just to have. Uh, for sure, got to have those. Got to get a deal on that stuff. I hate spending money on non-figure related stuff. So if you can get a sale on things like that, risers, Detoss bookshelves, always got to get a deal, especially on that kind of stuff. A big Bad Toy Store came through big this week. I got the Big Bad Toy Store exclusive this week, the Axe Battler Golden Axe Deluxe Pack. I missed this the first go around. Then Big Bad Toy Store got a deluxe pack as an exclusive. Picked this bad boy up. Comes with two skeletons the dragon and the axe battler. Uh, I've got a few more of these figures. We might do a golden axe unboxing week one time. Uh, we'll see what happens, but happy to have golden axe through the door. Absolutely love this. I love that game on Sega back in the day when I was a kid. Gonna love the figures now. So there you go, a little axe battler through the door. And then the final thing in round one of weekly purchases, we got the brand new McFarlane Toys Spawn, Throne Spawn. Always cool to get an action figure with a throne. We'll see what all the fuss is about with this spawn from McFarlane, and we'll unbox this probably on the channel this week as well. So that's round one of weekly purchases. Let me move stuff around. Let's take a look at round two, including the June Patreon giveaway. All right, let's finish off weekly purchases. And of course, Target's right now, the clearance event of a lifetime. A lot of stuff on clearance. Walk your store, check your end caps, check those clearance aisles. You never know what you might come across and a lot of WWE legends Bob Orton, Triple H, Hurricane, even some Ultimate Editions on deep, deep clearance. Got to get a deal out there. Long Gamers, now is your time. And I picked up some things on clearance for $5.99 that I didn't think I needed, but I just picked them up for a rainy day. What is that? Top picks. Oh, everybody loves a good top pick. Goldberg. I picked up two of these for $5.99. Why? I have absolutely no idea. But I have two Goldbergs now for about $10. Uh, Got to get a deal out there. I don't know, I might hang on to these. Maybe we'll give them away, I'm pretty sure everybody has this. Most likely I will give these to Toys for Tots at the end of the year. That's kind of what I do with stuff like this. Uh, everybody loves Goldberg for Christmas, I mean, why wouldn't you? So we got two Goldbergs, $5.99. Like I said, check out your Roman Reigns, your Goldbergs. You can get a deal out there. Great for Toys for Tots, great for a kid, great for the Goldberg fan in your family. There you go, looking at you, Dad, looking at you. Uh, so we got that one. Here was a little bit of a surprise thing this week. Uh, this one came up for uh, sale and it shipped immediately. Nobody knew this existed. Uh, and I swooped in and grabbed it because he is a favorite of mine from back in the ECW days especially. But it's Cella Retro Carded Hayabusa repaint in blue this time. So I do have the red one. Now I have the blue one. Absolutely phenomenal looking package, figure, you name it. I like this a whole lot. I still haven't decided yet. Am I going to unbox these? What am I going to do? Maybe we'll do a Hayabusa unboxing here on the channel eventually because all these retro figures coming out, I don't have the wall space for all these. I think Mattel Retro, I have them all mint on card. I have them all loose. I'm going to keep that up. Uh, besides that, it's probably just going to be loose retro figures from here on out for me. But I got this Hayabusa. Uh, picked him this week. I always love surprise drops like this too. It's always cool when something comes as a big surprise to you. Got in the mail this week via Wrestling Collector Shop. I got the Ultimate Edition Mr. T. You guys know I needed a second version of Mr. T for my Min on Card set. So now I got that with old Mr. T right there. And then of course you got to get Hulk Hogan. Another one for my Min on Card set. Two absolutely fabulous figures. And so fabulous uh, that I said, you know what? The June giveaway on my Patreon. 
I'm going to give away the Ultimate Edition Hulk Hogan for one of you lucky subscribers. If you're a top tier member of the Patreon, you get entered into the monthly giveaway. Of course, we have bonus content on there, early videos. You support the channel, all that kind of fun stuff. But you got an opportunity to win the Ultimate Edition Hulk Hogan. So I'm going to give this away in June. We talked about May, the Ultimate Edition Macho Man, Edge, uh, Elite 83, and Frogman. That's going to one giveaway winner this month. Uh, but then June, we're going to give away the Hulkster to one of you guys out there. This is a Hulkster you need a couple of. If you already got one, you need another one because so many different looks you can give this Hulkster. Wouldn't be a bad idea to have two. So that'll be the Patreon giveaway for June. So stay tuned to that one. And then I picked this one up. I said I was playing the long game, and then I forgot I ordered it offline already. So you guys saw my toy hunt. I said, I'll wait, I'll wait, I'll play the long game, got to get a deal. Well, that second trap jaw came in from Target. I forgot I told my wife to order it. It finally came in. I got to say I got a deal, though, because it was $26.99 instead of $29.99. They had a $3 off sale. So the small victories, small victories with trap jaw right there. But I needed a second one. I already unboxed this on the channel. Check it out. A very strong figure, a little interesting. Uh, but I got my second one for my display. Hopefully you've been checking out some of my displays. I've been posting a few things on social media, of course. Follow me on social medias. Uh, and then the final thing this week, I'm looking around. This is it. Masters of the Universe Revelations Tila, of course, Tila. Very controversial in this, but uh, we did get Tila here. I still have that Merman to unbox. I'll probably unbox those two together, so stay tuned for that one. Should be a fun unboxing. I love me some He-Man figures, and some of you guys do as well. Uh, I'm even cool with the Revelation figures, so keep those coming. I know it's not for everybody, but I like it enough, so... There it is. Weekly purchase is a little bit bigger than I thought it was going to be. Like I said, Unrivaled 9 should be at my doorstep tomorrow. I will try to get my first reviews out on Sunday and maybe earlier on Patreon, maybe even Saturday night. Who knows? But uh, stay tuned for that. And uh, as usual, like, comment, subscribe on the videos. Let me know what you picked up this week out there on the fig hunt. And then, of course, follow along on Patreon. If you want to enter to win those figures or that Hulk Hogan in June, you got to be signed up for the Patreon uh, of course, you support the channel, and that's the best way to support the channel. You can also support the channel at ProWrestlingTees.com. Search Kyle Peterson. Got to get a deal t-shirt, the old Rio shirt, the point shirt, a lot of good stuff. And, of course, an old favorite, Turtle Anxiety up there. And then, of course, follow along on social media at SirPaul64. On Twitter, Instagram, the underscore Kyle underscore Peterson. This weekend is the Des Moines Con. It's like a Des Moines Comic Con convention at the Iowa Event Center. Uh, I am headed down to that. I'm not sure if I'm going to go Saturday or Sunday. I'm leaning towards Sunday. Uh, so we'll see. I think Emma will be joining me. So Emma and I, if you see us, say hello at the Des Moines Con this weekend. Also going to the Impact Pro Wrestling Show Saturday night in Des Moines. Should see a lot of people there. 21 and up for that show. So who knows what we're going to get ourselves into. But I'll be at that one as well this weekend. So if you see me, come say hi. Uh, to be fun so there you go so that's a little bit of the plans and uh besides that you know what i'm up to i'm rocking and rolling strutting and strolling my way into the weekend i'll see you guys all real soon